Hello guys, the Master Duel Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we are going to have another high rated match. Both of these players are in Platinum, and we are going to go ahead and we're going to see Aftershock versus Japanese Letters. Seeing how many cards are in deck, we can see it's 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hand, we have Gamma, Roshi, Kieran, Kieran, Twin. So... Uh, we are going to go ahead and see the opponent be going first here, which is actually very good because if they were going first, they would just lose. Also, I really disagree with main decking twin because it makes your combo matchups a lot worse. Um, they're going to go ahead and activate prosperity here. Banish three. We see Gamma, Valor, Cosmic. Oh, so we just don't know what deck they're on yet. They're going to they're gonna grab the Gamma there, though. Set one pass. What deck does that? If they didn't have a starter, they probably should just banish six, no? They draw a GG, Twin Twisters, get rid of Kieran, try to pop the back row, they're going to chain called by. Um, They could have also went ahead and Twin Twisters, got rid of Gamma to pop the back row. But they choose to get rid of Kieran. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, now they just pass because the only play they have is normal summon on a GG Roshi. If the opponent chains Gamma to that, which I'm assuming they will, um, then they just don't have anything because Kieran's effect is negated now because it called by. So, pass turn. You know, I mean, odds are they're not going to be able to play through Gamma, though. Normal summon Alistair, Alistair effect, chain Gamma. Oh, they definitely could have banished 6 last turn. They're going to chain Ash. A lot of people are afraid to banish 6 in this deck, but banishing 6 is like... If you don't have a starter, you need a starter. Otherwise, you could just lose. Um, so they're going to Ash Blossom the Gamma to negate it. Go search Invocation. So now we know Invocation and Gamma in the opponent's hand. They're going to make the Moon Maiden. Activate the Invocation. Banish the Alistair. Banish the Moon Maiden. Summon out Invoke Macabre. Uh, in the, up in the extra monster zone. And then they're going to activate Invocation effect to grab the Alistair. Uh, this deck is a little bit nerfed in Master Duel because they only have two Meltdown. And also, they don't have Enforcer, which is, like, huge for the deck. Uh, now they're going to pass. So they go ahead. They draw into a Chalice. Chalice is really good against this. Oh, but they shouldn't have used it like that. Oh, what are they doing? Um, so what you're supposed to do is wait until they activate the effect of Macabre. So that way they discard for cost. And then you chain Chalice on it. So now they're down a monster card. Um, that's how you're supposed to do it. Normal summon GG. Kieran effect, go dump Chinglong, summon out, dump Chuchi off of Kieran, uh, Chinglong to now banish itself, go grab Lulu, discarding the Gamma, and then they're going to activate Lulu effect, so this can go dump Sean Wu, summon, grab City, and then City will now give them access to a Chuchi. Um, they're going to get rid of those to go into a Charge Warrior. Charge Warrior effect the draw, draws into Lulu, activate City, uh, in response, change Chuchi. It's probably just because I kept asking them, do you want to activate this? And they're like, okay, well, I'm going to be activating this anyway, so I may as well go ahead and use it. Uh, they're going to decrease the level, bring out Chuchi, Roshi, dump spell, special summon, special summon, back out from the graveyard of Lulu. On that summon, the opponent's going to activate Nib. Tribute it all off. Um, yeah, that'll happen. They decided to uh, not try to play around Nib. Uh, it was possible with what they had there. All you have to do is go for a Zulkin into a Crystal Wing play. But they decided to not do that there. Um, they wanted to, uh, you know, get, get, get a little bit greedy. Maybe they don't even play it in their extra deck. Um, I wasn't playing it in my extra deck at one point. But that was, like, right when the game came out and literally nobody was playing Nib. But now people are, like, actually playing this card. So, like, you have to be able to beat it. Um, if you don't respect Nib, you can definitely just get punished by it very heavily. They're going to Sean Wu summon out Roshi. Um, so that way they have four Banish now. And then they're going to activate Choo Choo to out Nib and pass turn. Um, yeah, I mean, that's decent. You probably don't even do that, though, right? Like, you just keep the Lulu in hand so that way you have follow up. You just never Chuchi pop Nib. Because they're going to go for Agos to out the token. Yeah, I feel like that was played really weird on their part. I um, mean, they still have follow-up through Chinglong, but... It's not a lot of follow-up. Um, compared to having, like, two hand effects. One being Lulu, one being whatever you, one you want. Uh, go for Agos. Agos effect, out the token. Like, you have to. It's way too big of a token. Invocation effect, grab back Alistair. Um... 
So now we know Alistair Gamma. They're going to set one card and pass. Then they go ahead and draw. Draws into a Lulu. Activate Punishment, Target Roshi. They're going to change Shuchi effect to pop their own Roshi. Um, they're doing this because Punishment will have no attack to compare to, so they don't get the Sun from the extra deck. So then Chuchu won't be able to get popped by the Elder that they were going to send. Main phase, Lulu effect, target, go dump spell, summon, grab Roshi. And then they're going to activate Ego's effect to pop Lulu. Cool. Um, I don't know why they did that. Like, Oh no, a Lulu on board. Okay, okay. You could have... Uh, let that go through, though, which would have been fine. Um, I guess they would have jumped Chuchi to the graveyard, and that would have got them to an XYZ, but either way, they, they can get to really anything they want. Probably should have just saved it for, like, the non-tuner monster that Roshi was going to summon. Uh, Neon summon out. And then get rid of those to go ahead and go for Croc. Okay, Croc effect the draw. Um, now they can go ahead and use Chinglong. Uh, Chinglong, banish, search GG, discards the Forbidden Chalice. And then activate GG effect, target monster, go dump Chuchi, special summon itself out, Chuchi effect, banish to up the level. So this is really good now because we can go ahead and summon Shen Shen. And then they're just going to overlay these, uh, not deciding to attack first because, again, we know that the opponent has a Gamma in the hand. Uh, we know that there's Gamma and we know that there's Alistair. Um, so if we beat over Egos and like attack directly, make VFD pass... Um, we can't VFD during standby phase, otherwise we get hit by Gamma. So they're just going to leave this on board, because if we get to skip their turn, we win the game. Um, that, that's pretty much just how it is. Like If, I, if we skip the turn and have ridiculous follow-up, we win. Go ahead, VFD effect, attach Shen Shen, calling Dark. And then they're going to go ahead, switch to defense, pass play. Um, they draw for turn, they draw into a Chalice. They've seen all three Chalice this game. Uh, VFD effect. Detach, calling light, uh, so they can't get hit with nib again. Uh, in response, chains maxi. There's actually no point in doing that. A lot of people don't realize that VFD um, only affects the attributes that it calls, which is why it affects everything that's on the field, because everything that goes on the field becomes that attribute, but the stuff in hand won't be affected. So, like, maxi would still be able to activate after VFD because they called light. But something like a Veiler, Gamma, Nib won't be able to because they're already light. They're not getting changed to light. Um, so hope that like helps some of you out because I've, I've had a lot of people misplay with that. Uh, then activate Chuchi to out the Egos. So go ahead, put those back. Uh, playing around Nib with this, playing around Gamma. Uh, they didn't like need the pop right there, but they go ahead and do it. Summon out. Unless if that was... Uh, yeah, I think they just put back the other Roshi off that, right? Um, or did they not? They returned Nian and Ching Long. They definitely did not need a Ching Long. Okay, so they didn't really need a Chuchi Pop there. Uh, they're going to max C draw. Uh, go ahead, banish, search, discard, uh, Kieran effect. This will just be game, though. They can dump, summon out. Uh, Shen Shen banish to switch to attack battle phase go for game. Uh, they can't get punished by a nib uh, They didn't even summon enough times. They can't get hit with gamma It's really nothing here that stops them from going for game So they go ahead and win so we see the virtual world player beat the invoked player um, I Want to say it was like too interesting of a game. I mean It was a decent it was a decent match, but you know, we're, we're going to go ahead and see Virtual World run away with the victory there. Uh, Virtual World definitely gets buffed in Master Duel format because we have VFD while Invoked gets nerfed with... First of all, who was like, let's hit Meltdown to 2? Why? Like, I get it, it hurts the consistency of it a little bit, but wild hits, wild hits. Um, but the Enforcer not being in the deck is like the big hit. Um, yeah, and also that is going to be it for the video. Um, with that being said, make sure to go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and the DB Grinder, signing off, peace, have the Master Duel Grinder, not DB, MD Grinder, signing off, peace, have a nice day, stay safe.